staying on the the topic of movie flops here, uh, I, I brought up something this week. I was just saying, how comes everything that is that critics love and audience seem to reject is it's accused of of uh, you know of, of review bombing and stuff like that? But it kind of brought up a great question. A lot of people saying that a lot of these movies are flopping now at the box office because we're seeing record number of flops more than we ever saw when we were younger. I feel like it huge, huge. I mean, just like flop after flop. And a lot of people are saying, like, what is the problem? And uh, uh, something that I've been hearing a lot is it's because of streaming and video on demand. Is that a problem? Now, look, I'll accept that answer before a lot of these other ones. But I started looking at it and looking at how fast some of these movies are going away. And I've got to, I've got to look at the, this here. Uh, the Fall Guy released on May the 3rd. And it was released on digital May 21st. So, wow, 18 days. Furiosa released May 24th. Released on digital June 25th. Both those struggled mightily at the box office. Didn't make like hardly any money. Then you got Dune Part 2, which was successful at the box office. But even that, released March 1st. It came out in digital April 16th. So six weeks. And I think that, look, at our age, where it's like, okay, you got to get a babysitter. You got to do all that stuff. It's easy for us to say, you know what? I can wait a month and a half and watch this movie at home. So I think there is some of that. But I also think during uh, The Virus and Shall Not Be Named, I feel like... A lot of people got trained to, I'm just going to wait and watch it in my house. You know, I've got this really expensive home theater I had installed. Hey, you know, cool. I can do that and not have to worry about kids looking at their phone the whole time and playing with their candy wrappers and I can't hear the movie, right? So I feel like there is some of this. I feel like that holds more more water than, uh, you know, the review bombing excuse or political reasons excuse, something like that. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, definitely there's a cost. I want to come back to Inside Out. Just one thing. Sure. How did Inside Out 2 also not get the Phil Collins song? That is a <laughs> egregious error. Well, that's the other question, though. I was like, okay, well, so when we do have a hit at the box office, we don't hear anything about the streaming. I think it really is just like people aren't trusting what's being made right now because there's a lot of bad movies being made. So, yeah, that's uh, there's not a lot of news stories. There are riffs. Sequels. I saw somebody's doing a riff on Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Yeah. That's a cla- What are you touching that for, Scott? Dude, they did Overboard. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it is. It's always going to be so the remakes, the sequels, the reboots. And then your sequels, and then your reboots. And I know that story. I don't feel like paying the exorbitant movie fees, not to mention getting a babysitter, driving there, or having the out to eat if you're doing the dinner in a show theaters. Mm. So yeah. that's it's a very expensive thing to... And these movies, these don't tell mom the babysitter's dead again. I don't need to see that on big screen. It'll I, be just yeah. as good on my home system. I think that uh, with the whole streaming thing is, I do think they should wait a little long. If the movie's happening, I don't think they should just make dates for these things. That's leave the other it, thing. I was leave it to be you. determined for yeah. these streaming dates or these uh, these video on demand dates because if a movie is having a lot of success and if you pulling it, you putting it on streaming at the same time, who's not going to choose to watch it on streaming? Instead of paying to go see it at the theater, you know, if they already had that streaming service. So I do I think know, it needs to be a little longer. Baseball practice gets canceled and you're like, ah, well, we'll keep up the next good movie instead of yeah. making it a, an event. Um, my other thing is m- marketing. Where am I supposed to be hearing about these movies? Because other than, oh, what was that? There was a rom-com. Oh, Anyone But You. That thing got shoveled down my face because I, you know, I read romance. I'm oh, a rom-com you get, you, you girl. Got ad targeted. targeted. Yeah. But that thing got shoveled down my face. And even from the ads, I was like, God, this doesn't look good enough to spend two hours on. More or less two hours at a movie theater on. But that and IF are the only two movies I've really heard about. IF. Um, Imaginary Friend. Yeah, so you haven't even heard about it. Right. <laughs> now, obviously, I picked up some Dune and, and some other things, but... Yeah, I'm like, I don't even hear about where are they marketing because, right, if you're going to get on the, the streaming platforms, which is where a lot of people are, you're making deals with well, them. Well, that's another thing when it comes to marketing is like if I'm not seeing this marketing on social media, I probably don't see it because I don't exactly. watch a lot of live TV anymore. Exactly. If it's not NFL season, I don't watch very much live TV, so I'm not seeing ads for anything because I don't watch live TV. And when we do, we TiVo it and skip all those ads, you know, so if I'm not seeing an ad for it on either on YouTube or on Twitter or something like that, I'm. I don't know it exists. So, yeah, I think that's a that's that's something that no one has a real answer for. But I do think that, yeah, streaming dates might be hurting these in the on video on, de, on demand because there are plenty of times that people like us are just saying, ah, you know, I can wait a month and a half and just watch it. Yeah. We can just not have to worry about getting a babysitter and, and paying for popcorn. And all there's that crap, still those you know? epic movies. Like you're gonna want to see yeah, Dune, Dune on, on the big screen. On the yeah. big screen, you want to see the Marvel movies on the big screen. They well, used to. Well, sure, <laughs> sure, but like. 
my point, and that's kind of my point. Yeah. What other, what movies like that are even coming out to make the effort? Like, most of these movies don't tell mom that babysitter's dead again. It's going to be fine on my home system. That's yeah. not some epic visual eye candy. I need to have a big screen surround sound theater. Oh.